One male, seven females. This guy. He's either really lucky or in a lot of trouble. Sometimes you gotta get down into a turtle eye view if you wanna find other turtles. Hey, check this out. Look at this spot. Look at that. Lola saying, what's up to you guys? We're inside Guapo and her enclosure, which is also occupied by the Chinese box turtles. But today is moving day. Now they've been in here for many years, but I'm not getting eggs. And the reason I think I'm not getting eggs is because these guys will actually cannibalize their own nests. So other turtles will definitely come around and eat up the eggs. But I think if we move them into the turtle topia that is my front yard, they'll have more areas where they can lay their eggs and other Chinese box turtles won't find them and I might get lucky and find the eggs and or their babies. So we're going to be collecting up. There's nine in here and we're going to have to be very good about finding these guys. But we've got these two females. These were like little girls when they came to me. They've gotten so big here. So we're just going to kind of search around for the rest of them and hope we can find them all in one episode here. There's a lot of, I can feel some holes. Oh, there's, oh, there's one. There's two right here. They like to dig down, right? They love to dig down. But I think they'll be happier in the front because they'll have more water. These guys are more uh, terrestrial, but they will go into the water. I think they'll be pretty excited about it. So we've got four right now. All right, let's collect these up and put them in the uh, cart. So we got four females. I think I only have one male. That might be another issue. Oh God, we got turtles peeing. Uh, I think that might be another issue because they want, they might need another male in order to stimulate his breeding. Okay, let's go. Let's find out what we got, but it'll be cool because I can't wait to see them kind of roaming around the other way. You see one over here? Corner. Corner? One in the pond. This is Lola, right? Not. Yeah, that's, that's Lola. Lola. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, there's one, one the down corner. there. This is good. And then there's another guy that's fully submerged. Right yeah, here. that's like good Like not too. at all above the water. Yeah, is there one, another one? Just one in here. Just one in the pond. Yeah, we're looking for that male. Right now, we've got all these gals. There's two right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see. Who do you got there? That looks like the male. Let me see. Nah, yes, that is the male. Oh, it's strange because this male, and that's another female. All right. I think that's it, but let's double well, check it. The level of trust here. Oh, yeah, you. why not? You're that's all good. right, dude. You're okay. Yeah. Uh, so that there. Oh, that's eight. I'm pretty sure there was nine. I could be wrong, but let's double check. Let's give it another once over because... Is there any other water source in here? That's it, right? Just there, and then the sprinkler comes on. Oh wait, there so, might be one under here. Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of um, soft spots in the sand for sure. Right, but you would see, you know, I would see the their shells sticking up, but I'm not seeing it. I thought it was nine, I could be wrong. And we have six, five? We six have, so um, no, we have eight. So we are, by my count, I thought we had nine. So I'm missing one, I think. I don't know though, I could be wrong. You could feel where these guys were. Well, I could feel stepping back, but I didn't want to step into a hole. Yeah. Because. Yeah, but it's a bummer, man. Well, I haven't gotten any eggs out of these guys. And there's a species that I'd love to make sure that I did reproduce. So we're gonna give it a go. But I'm not seeing any more turtles. So I guess that's it. So now, right now, it's just these guys. But what could potentially happen is I could make, I could include some other tortoises in here. Um, you know, some juvenile, baby tortoises, uh, like red foots, cherry heads. That would be a really cool area for them to hang out. But for now, it's just gonna be the lizards hanging out in here, which is fine. So uh, let's go introduce these turtles to their new home. This should be really cool. Just double checking, I don't see any. But I'm sure if there's another one still in here, 
We'll find it. So 1.7. One male, seven females. This guy. He's either really lucky or in a lot of trouble. Let's move on over here. And we're going to let them go near the water uh, in the ponds. And remember, guys, I've got plenty of space out front. Those aquascape ecosystems can handle such a bio load because of the size of the filters we put. The um, bio filters are massive in there, and that water is getting turned over all the time. So I'm not worried about overstocking anything. Plus, this is kind of cool. We have a lot of Asian species in here. We already have another type of Cora box turtle, the Cora ambienensis. This is Cora flava marginata, but they won't hybridize, which is nice. And you got that brand new gate there, huh? And we did good the other day. Trying to open it. I love it. You did a good jam, good jam. We can now wheel this in easy enough. Let's go ahead. I kind of like how the front yard's becoming. It's becoming this really cool very, very diverse mix. Yeah, it's really cool. I want to, I want to kind of let them go near the stream. We'll let some go near the stream, so these guys get an idea of where they'll be living, the water source. They've got all the hay and all these plants to burrow into. They can take the winter, so I don't have to worry about wrangling these guys up. So let's go ahead with this male. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and put these guys down here. They have snails they can eat. I mean, this is really, really cool. And they're all gonna disperse and find themselves. Look at them. I just like when you put them in a new habitat. It, it looks as though they're like excited in a way, like, hey, check this out. Look at this spot. Plenty of places to hide and look for food. So many insects in here. These guys are gonna be able to nibble on. I think that's awesome. Let's keep going. Let's do some more. Put another gal out in here. And since we really secured this habitat, I feel really good about letting them go in here. So it's going to be fun to see the flavors. So there's eight flavors moving in today. Let's go put some others over here. We'll spread them out. This way these guys have to wander into each other again. Let's see if some of them will swim. So I can show you. We'll put two in this pond. Let's see, just to give you an idea of what they can do. Let's see, I like to place them up there and then see if they'll take to the water. There you go. There you go. Let's see if they actually decide they want to swim or if they're just going to wander around on land. Where are you going to go? Here we go. Really beautiful when they get wet too, you know? Yeah changes everything. It does, man. Really pretty little box turtle. I do love this aquatic. Um, Look at that. It's just Look so... at that guy go. Look at him. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. She's like, whoa, what's going on? And she's going to climb right out. But you see these ecosystem ponds have really good, we use natural rock in them. So these turtles can climb out, no problem. She's just going to go exploring. I will want to keep an eye on her near that skimmer. But there she goes, no problem, crawling right out. The other one here just disappeared. It took off over there. Let's see how well she does. Of course, she's going to go right by that skimmer. So I want to keep an eye. She'll probably get sucked into the skimmer. Let's see. I don't know if she'll be able to climb up that rock. She's not ready to quit, though. No, they're very, very persistent. That is for sure. Pull her out before she gets stuck. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and I don't think she's gonna be lucky here, but what I can do is place her over here. But again, they have the option now to go in the water. They can stay in the more shallow areas or they can just kind of stay on land, whatever they want to do. So I'm pretty happy about that. And it's gonna be fun, like I said, just to see these guys interacting with this environment. Um, I love it. You know, the whole reason I got into turtles was I enjoyed seeing them move around their habitats. And one of the things you've noticed here, Matt, is that the tortoises and turtles here are so acclimated to people that you really get a better sense of what they're capable of doing or how they behave. Because most of the time turtles are hiding or when we walk by them, they go into their shells. Uh, and we're never really around in nature to kind of see their activity. But these turtles here, 
they're so um, you know dynamic because of just the way that they live in close proximity to me and my family. So it's pretty awesome. We we're just, checking here. We're just talking about that. That's right. Yeah, here. See, look at this. We've got from the other day when we released the Elsia. Yep. Yep. There's an Elsia right there. Okay, these guys are awesome. But you see, this guy had been gnawed on. Oh, that's the one that. Was yeah, this one was gnawed on, but actually, it's going to grow up and just be fine. So let me just let this little one go. Let's say, there you go, little buddy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of those Chinese box turtles out. I love it. The other cool thing about this is these turtles are going to be eating the, they're going to get more acclimated to me. They're going to come out and they're going to wind up, you know, getting tamer by being out here, if that makes sense. Because they're going to see me coming out. They're going to want the food and they're going to eat with all the other turtles and maybe i assume do they learn like seeing what the other turtles do because these yeah. turtles in this pond believe it or not immediately know when you're about to feed them yes they will do that and these guys will remember as well but like look at this little river system this is perfect for this species these guys just love the shallow water and that's what we're giving to them much much better for them i just want them to be in a better habitat but look at how interested they are in their new environment they're going to explore it and they'll have plenty of time to live here so what i'm hoping is maybe i get another male and then i'll be able to have these guys breed and hopefully we'll see babies start to pop out and because we went around we really reinforced we really reinforced this papyrus is killing me uh we reinforced the fencing and dialed that fencing in these little turtles are going to be able to reproduce in here and the offspring are going to stay in here which is nice so it's going to be a cool habitat these guys are on the move oh these guys are super active especially if the humidity comes up if we have a nice rain i'm going to see a lot of these guys roaming around out here the other great thing is now they've gotten large enough to where they're not going to be i'm not worried about a bird taking them or a raccoon or anything like that right but look at all this different topography these guys have. That will just walk right up the waterfall, and they're going to continue to just kind of figure out their new habitat. Oh, this one just decided to go hide in underneath this vermilion. So that's neat. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Let's look at them. Some of them will hide. Some of them are going to go exploring. But the cool thing about this is now we have so many different species of turtles in here. Let's see if I can count it. We got Chinese box turtles. We got the Elsia, the Krebs side nets. We have the pink belly side nets. We have the Japanese reef turtles, Japanese wood turtle. We've got the Batagraborniensis. We've got the Hamiltoni. We've got the Venezuelan sliders. We've also got the Aldabra tortoise, the radiated tortoise. We've got the regular reefs turtle. We've also got the Madagascar bighead turtle. So that's 12. Uh, 12 different species. The Malaysian box turtle is 13. We have the Orlidia, that's 14 in here. So we have 14 different species of turtle. I don't think I'm missing anything else. That's pretty cool. Like the UN? That's pretty awesome. 14 different species of turtles in this enclosure. So I love it. And it's nice when you come out and you explore it. It's fun for me because I don't know which species I'm going to see. Once they get acclimated to it, they're really going to just kind of pop up. And it's fun. I'll be getting some really cool shots, posting them up on Instagram of these animals in this water feature, which will be cool. But let's go ahead and see if some of the ones over in the stream are moving around a little bit more too. Let's go check it out. So what did I say? 14 different species. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'm missing one, but uh, pretty happy overall. Look, look. This, is the, this one's exploring. This one's just figuring out. Let's see if she takes to the water. Let's see if she'll actually just get in that water on her own. Do you see how careful they are there, Matt? Like, they're not just blindly plummeting into the water. These are not turtles that bask on logs all the time. They're more terrestrial. So these kind of streams and pools is what they're really going to want to hang out in. That's why this habitat's awesome. I can have fully aquatic turtles and semi-aquatic turtles in one enclosure and I feel safe about it because of the way it's designed because we've got the shallow parts, the deep parts, much like you'd find in nature. It's not just a deep pool, there's a gradient to it. Look at her go. Look at that. That's so cool. This is what I wanted. I just wanted to dress this up, man. 
The animals are always the kind of crowning achievement for any habitat. When you see animals living in them, you know, you got your plants, you got your rocks, you got your, you know, microorganisms. But when you get these animals to kind of hang out in here, that's what makes me really happy. What's cool is you saw, she went down and she turned around. She decided, you know what? I do not want, I do not want to actually go ahead and go swimming yet. She's just gonna kind of wander around and I'm wandering around with them, which is awesome. So cool, look at us. This is great habitat, great habitat. The stacks of hatchy grass, she'll be able to kind of crawl into. What do we got here? That's always a good place to find them hiding. Oh, that's underneath. such a good spot. You know, and, and what's funny is, this is also where you find babies. I'll find babies out here where they're just utilizing these micro habitats and that's what I'm hoping will happen with the Flavo Marginata. I'll just start to find their little offspring. Uh, then I can raise them up undercover uh, because the adults will eat them. So this to me gives them the best opportunity to secretly hide their eggs. Those eggs can either be found by me or hatch. The babies will have a chance at survival because we have so many different hiding spots here. So it's gonna be really, really fun to see how this develops over the next few years. This is Kenan crawling around. Yeah, I like crawling like a turtle. Sometimes you gotta get down into a turtle's, a turtle eye view if you wanna find other turtles. Let's go over here. And, and we were just here, and these turtles are already gone. They're already kind of hiding and being cryptic. Oh, there's right there. <laughs> oh, look at that, there you go. And again, if they wanna use this, they can go in there and hide out. Let's see if anyone else went in there. Nope, but there is plenty of cool habitat for them in these ponds. I think there is a male over here maybe. There was one that took off in that direction. Yep. Oh, look. look at this, there's two of oh them right God. here. Look at that. The male and a female. These clumps of grass. This, this clump of grass is gonna be awesome for them. And they like it in there. They do. Cover is what they're gonna look for first. Shelter and safety. Now they know they got a water source. I love it, man. So awesome. And again, we have this whole thing sealed off nicely. No babies can get out. The adults can't climb this fence. We really did a good job as far as shoring this up. So all that's left now is to allow these animals to do their thing. And uh, I guarantee you we'll find some little, little ones rummaging around in here soon. So there you go, people. Always How long fun. until that? Um, you know what? They actually lay their eggs in May, so it's possible that these guys will lay some eggs this summer or this May. The problem is, is sometimes when you move turtles or tortoises, it resets them uh, and they won't reproduce uh, for that season. But you know what? It's a risk I'm happy to take because I've not been getting eggs out of them anyway. So I figured let's move them. Look at all this habitat up here. They're gonna interact with all the other turtles. Look at this Hamiltoni hiding out right here under this. We've got more Indian spotted turtles coming and Dr. Mike Gillen sent us two more of these beautiful species, these Indian spotted turtles, Geoclemys Hamiltoni. Um, really, really cool. So I do have more of them. And then what else do I have? From the last time we put turtles in here. Oh, there's the radiated. So many. And uh, hopefully these Chinese box turtles get his friendly. Look, there's one right there. Look at how far they're moving. Look at that. Oh, yeah, wow. He's Isn't that cool? So this one's already kind of made it way over here. So that's great. That's a long distance. That's long, travel. right? That's 30, 20, 30 feet. Yeah, they just, you know. That's at least a few thousand turtle feet. So they are awesome. Again, all this habitat, we've got banana plants. They'll have fruit. Those guys will eat it. All the invertebrates that are in the pond, like the snails and the crayfish, and then all the earthworms that are up here, these guys will rummage through that you know, dirt and soil and find it. Uh, the odd lizard they'll catch, you never know. These guys are pretty capable little hunters and scavengers, not to mention all the great fluker stuff that I have that I've been feeding all my animals that are just getting them so big. Case in point, let's not forget Cersei Poo here. She is getting big, yes she is. She is a good girl. So it's fun. I love this. This is one of my favorite enclosures uh, in the camp. Uh, it's also the very first enclosure that Aquascape helped me build and I'm really, really stoked on it. So 
It does not get better than this, does it, guys? Turtles outside in your front yard. It's a dream come true for me, especially when you have Radiate and Aldabras sharing space with the Flavo Marginata just over there to your left. Look at that pretty head on that animal. Flavo Marginata, the marginated, the yellow marginated box turtle from Taiwan and mainland China. Good stuff. All right, guys, let me know if you think this was a good idea to get these guys out in this big habitat. I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you have the same species of turtle? Any quora at all? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great time with your animals, wherever you may be. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna keep looking around for some of these new, new recruits we put in this enclosure. See ya.